Hi guys, so thank you for tuning back in this week. Um, we're gonna actually, I'm gonna show you how to make papaya uh, Lao style today. There's two kinds of papaya. There's the uh, papaya salad, there's the Lao style, or the Thai style. Now the Lao style is a little bit darker, it has a richer, deeper umami flavor versus the Thai style, it's more fresh and um, limey and sour. So it just depends on what your palate. I grew up with the Lao style. I do enjoy the Thai style, but not as much as the Lao style. So today I'm gonna be reviewing Lisa's Cookhouse Papaya Sauce. Now this is her first batch, so she has since tweaked the recipe according to what customers have, uh, customers' feedback. So um, if you're interested, I will link her um, Facebook page down below. So I'm gonna just show you guys what we're using today. Every chef has a specific unique trait that they put into their cooking. So for this, she did specifically say that if we use lime juice, it's gonna make the dish more bitter versus um, sour. So to use lemon instead. And then um, the rest of the ingredients are just the real regular. Um, and if you don't have the dark papaya sauce already made, you can definitely use, and I'll show you guys, I have shrimp paste and then the crab paste. So you can use these, Oops. there we go, crab paste, and then we have the shrimp paste. So you can definitely use these, um, and if you use it raw without like actually cooking it out first. Um, it is going to have some granules of like salt, so I'm just warning you, um, you would want to cook this out like you just add a little bit of each to your liking with a little bit of water and maybe some tamarind um, and then just dilute or cook it down so that you have your own little sauce. It is really stinky though, so if you do that you do want to do it outside the house. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you guys. that is a substitute for the papaya sauce if you're just cook, uh, making it from home, from scratch, without any pre-made sauce. Alright, so these are the ingredients. So I have papaya shredded. Um, this was a green papaya. It was not a ripened papaya. And then this is just tamarind paste from a can or a jar that I bought. I have a fresh organic lemon from my in-law's backyard. I have tomato, garlic, two peppers, that's all we're having. Um, and then this is Lisa's cookhouse sauce. Um, and then fish sauce and sugar. I put a little cloth underneath my mortar. So what I'm gonna start with is, I'm gonna start with the pepper and the garlic. So I'm gonna do two cloves of garlic, just a teaspoon of sugar. So excuse me if the um, uh, video cam doesn't stay still. Perfect, so see, the sugar really helps keep it from spattering. Then now I'm gonna just slice in my tomato. You can slice them thick, thin, however you like. And I really love tomatoes, so I don't mind having all, if not the whole tomato in there. Just gonna stomp it. Okay, now I'm gonna add the um, Lisa's sauce. One, two, and then tamarind. I'm gonna add maybe two tea, two tablespoons. I'm just gonna stir the sauce. And now the lemon. We like it sour around here, so. The juice of half of a big, juicy, organic lemon. 
Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. It's got the perfect balance of sh sweet, sour. I think it needs a little bit of salt because I want it to be a little bit more flavorful, the sauce, because when I throw in the papaya, it'll be perfect. This is just a tablespoon. I'm just gonna taste a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. You wanna just adjust this sauce at this point to taste, okay? Mm. Yeah. We like our tamarind. Mm. I'm just gonna do another wedge of lemon juice. I think I want to make more sauce, so excuse me while I go back and add more ingredients. And this is going to be directly from Lisa's sauce here. There's a dark spoonful, if you can tell. Like, look at that dark, dark, dark. There's two tablespoons. I'm going to add more tamarind. Definitely need more lemon. Now it's perfect. So if you guys can see, I've got all my juices in here. It tastes great. Now I'm gonna just throw in my papaya. Mmm, you see how dark that is? Oh my god. Be really yummy if you guys had um, noodles to go with it, like vermich vermicelli noodles or kapung noodles, whatever you like to call it. Oop, it's battering back at me. So I just gotta get it, all the sauce from down below, mix it all the way through, and while I do that, I'm stomping it just to soften it up because, ooh, all that sauce. Okay, quickly. Uh, I just turned the camera so if you want you can add dried shrimp to this um, to at the beginning um, you can add cooked shrimp to this you can add um, beans whatever you have this is all I have on hand so this is all we're having but this is still good enough for us to satisfy the craving so um, you can put peanuts in there if you want to um, anything that you want in your dish to satisfy your craving or whatever you have on hand, use it. My husband's even chopped up cabbage instead of having papaya and that satisfies it too because cabbage is still crispy and crunchy so it still does the job. Um, carrots, back in the day, like in the 90s, I remember we used to have uh, carrots with the papaya all the time but now I don't see it done anymore. Uh, so whatever your heart desires. <laughs> You can stomp it just until you mix it up. Actually, let me taste it first. Ooh, nice and dark. Well, maybe not in the camera, but you'll see. Mmm. This would be the time you wanna taste and adjust, so 
You can still add more sauce. If you want, this is the perfect amount of sour we like around here. And we did add some sugar to balance that out. This is perfect. I'm gonna just put it in a plate. This is my fork. It's just the mister and I. We're not showing with anyone, so I'm just gonna leave my fork in there. Juice. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I'm ready to eat. Let's have a quick taste and then this is gonna go with our dinner tonight. I made fish and stir fry or some kung pao, so mmm. 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 It's the perfect amount of Salty, sweet, and sour. This is what the jar comes like. Okay, it's already nice and thick and dark. She has updated the recipe and the packaging. So if she's shipping to you, it'll be in a food safe or food serve packaging. Um, and she will tell you how you should prep your sauce or your um, papaya, but you can do it any way you like. Like I said, everybody has different preferences, so cater to your liking. This is the bomb, nice and dark, and this is actually gonna last me a long time because just a two or three tablespoons goes a long way with this sauce. Enjoy, um, and I hope you really like this. Go check her out. Again, the information is gonna be linked down below. And I will also put the ingredients that I used in the description box so that you can see, but really you can cater to your liking. Remember that people do prefer, some people do prefer Lao style over Thai style. Lao style is just more darker, pungent, um, with you know crab and shrimp paste and very umami versus Lao style, it's more fresh and limey and um, uh, sweet and sour um, and light. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this and give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and come back next week for another episode. Thank you, bye-bye.